action. <coughs> hey guys, what's up? This is Sneak Attack, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged in the navy colorway. Starting off on the outsole, on the, all the new Adidas Ultra Boost, you got the Continental outsole compared to the old outsole, which is just a generic rubber. These are a lot more durable. They have flat bumps instead of rounded bumps. Overall, it's just better quality than the old ones. On the bottom of the Ultra Boost, you have the torsion system, which comes with all the Ultra Boost. It gives the shoe a lot more support for running and just casual wear. Moving on to the midsole, you got the full length boost, just like all the Ultra Boost. These ones come with the white boost. Very comfortable, just like any Ultra Boost, you're gonna have max comfort when you're walking around. Your feet are never gonna hurt. Comfort, I definitely have to give it a 10 out of 10, just like any Ultra Boost. These are probably more comfortable than the Cage Ultra Boost. So if you're looking for pure comfort, go ahead and grab these. On the heel cup, you have a dark navy blue. The navy on the heel cup is uh, darker than the navy on the prime knit. You have silver on the word ultra right here and then gold on the word boost. On the inside it's nothing, just a regular heel cup. Some people wanted the heel cup to be black, but the dark navy on it looks perfectly fine to me. Moving on to the upper, you have the full navy blue prime knit upper. You got the three stripes on the inside. Then you got the uh, classic uncaged pattern on here. These shoes come with navy blue flat laces with white tips. You can swap them out for rope laces, but I like the look of the flat laces on the uncaged. On the inside of the shoe, around here, there's actually padding. It makes the shoe very comfortable around your heel, so it's not just your heel on plastic. Some people say that it's more comfortable to wear the Ultra Boost without the insole in it. That's something you can try out. I really like the look of the uncaged Ultra Boost. It's a lot more of a casual look compared to the Cage Ultra Boost. The Cage Ultra Boost looks really good, but it's more of a performance-based shoe. This shoe is mostly casual. You could run in these, but it's pretty much designed to be a casual shoe. It has more of a Yeezy styling, since the Yeezy doesn't have any cage on it. Obviously, Adidas is trying to go towards that direction, because that's the most popular shoe right now. This shoe is going to set you back $180 on retail. You can find these on adidas.com. They're sitting on there, all sizes, so go ahead and pick it up if you like. You won't regret it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on feet. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Don't forget, this is Sneak Attack, where we upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you guys later.